Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science class. So today is Wednesday, and the date is the 13th of October 2021. All right, boys, we are studying about how do environmental changes living uh, uh, changes affect the living. This how much I got in the exam. Everyone did great, but the marks um, after they uh, pass them to you, you will see them. Okay, you can check the website later. Miss, you uh, miss you watch yesterday the Saudi one from Sin. I watch what? You watch the Saudi and Sin. Because oh, the Saudi is it was one. before yesterday. Is it yesterday? Yeah. No, Miss, yeah, it's not uh, China. It's not China. Ah, okay. No, I did not actually. I don't watch. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't love watch soccer, but I love soccer. Oh, you love play soccer. Very good. Me? I watch uh, soccer. Me, I, I, I love play soccer. I watch it. I also watch soccer. Ah, okay, boys. How yeah. about if we finish and we talk later after we finish? Okay. Very good. So let's our listen and then we can talk as much as you want. All right? All right. Now, yesterday and before yesterday, we're talking about the environment and how the environment changes. If it changes, it will affect the living things. Can you give me examples of these changes? Huh, what is the first example we learned about how the environment will change? Look at this picture. Fragile. This is a fragile ecosystem. It's a strong fragile. wind. Strong winds. So the strong wind. What what the what does the strong wind do? It's uh, destroyed the, the forest. Destroyed the forest. Well, destroyed the forest. The forest. Well done. Well done. Excellent. And what happened to the animals and trees and plants, the living things? Broken. They would die. 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 Or they may what? Leave the, leave the, the forest. forest. Open shelter. Do shelter. Fine. Leave the forest. Okay. Excellent. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, what is the other example? What is the other example? Hmm, so very strong wind, and what else? And fire. Very and fire. Good. fire. Very good, what else? Huh? Yesterday. And, and the water. The water will uh, go. The flooding. Okay. Flood and the opposite of flood is drought. Drought. And what about this one? What happened over here? Try, try to think. Yeah, yeah, I wish I remember. The ocean will go to the rocks and he will take a small rocks. Okay, what do we call this process? We'll take, Very good. He'll take our the rock and stone. Yes, that's right. What do we call this process? Um, call it? Er Erosion. Erosion. Yes, we call it erosion. Excellent, excellent. Well done. Erosion. Okay, today we are oh, going yeah. to learn about the natural changes. There are some natural changes can happen to the environment, okay? So natural changes, can we, can, can be what? 
What do you think? Look at the picture. Let me water. Okay. Water or wind. These are non living things. They can change the environment. Only them will change the environment. The wind, the fire. No. The water. Oh, no. very good. Also, we you... need the book. No, ya habibi. Today we don't need the book. Also, the living things can change the environment. How? Some animals, they build dams to make their houses or their habitat. And when they do the, the, these dams, they change the environment. Take a look at this beaver. This beaver will definitely change the environment when, cut, when they cut down the trees. How they build their dams? They need to cut the trees and make it very small, just like this one, and build the dams. They need to make trees. Yes, to bake their houses. When they break down trees, do they change the environment or not? Yeah. Yeah, definitely they change the environment. Of course, they change the environment. So not only beavers, but many animals, they change the environment by Miss. behaviors. Yes, Habibi, yes, Imam. Maybe uh, tree fall and it's fall all the trees. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Okay. Now, also over here, what do you see over here? Uh, soil. Okay, who built the soil? The uh, mouse, the mouse. Okay, the termites can build mounds as high as three-story building. See, they are changing the environment. How they are changing the environment? They are getting the soil to build a house for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Also over here, plants can change the environment. Let me tell you about plants. Some algae blooms release poisons. Can you imagine some algae they release poisons? Algae blooms use up oxygen in wa the water when algae die and decompose. So when algae dies, what happens? They release something. What do they release? They oh. release. The poison. And these poisons, does it affect the living things, other living things? Yes. yes. Of course, some animals, if they come near to it or touch it, or maybe they taste it, they may die. Also, the other plants, they may get affected. And there is more, something called bacteria. See, bacteria can eat up all the leaves and one tree can affect another tree, then trees will die. So today we learned that also things can change the environment. Like who? Like the beavers and the termites, also the algae. So how many examples we did today? Three. Three. A very good three examples about animals who can change the environment excellent about environment environment how about we want to about the nature environment yes how about we watch a video about living things who can change the environment other than beavers and termites and algae do you want to see that yeah okay now let's yeah. Yeah. bye bye to recording